Welcome, welcome to the best local driver training. So this is the training course for new entry drivers. And uh, you'll learn here how to become a more safer, more courteous and professional driver. So our best driver course is designed to enhance your current abilities and familiarize you with the best policies and practices used by the best mover driver course. So once you complete the course, you'll take a graded test followed by a truck inspection with your operations coordinator. So after that, you'll move on to take a documented road test. And upon passing, you'll receive your best mover driver certificate. So basically, by the end of this course, you'll be equipped with the skills and knowledge to ensure that you and your cargo arrive safely at your destination every time, which is, you know, important. So without further ado, let's get started on the road to becoming the best driver you can be. So as you can see here, this is our uh, 26 foot box truck and uh, it's a reliable and versatile vehicle designed for efficient moving operations. With a non-CDL classification and a gross vehicle weight of about 26,000 pounds, it offers ample space for transporting household goods. The box provides a generous capacity of up to 1700 cubic feet, which is about 15,000 pounds, ensuring that your belongings can be securely and conveniently relocated. So uh, the truck is equipped with essential tools and supplies. It is fully prepared to support successful moves. The automatic transmission along with the convenient lift gate and ramp uh, simplifies the loading and unloading processes. Uh, so basically, as a driver, it is crucial to approach your role with a strong sense of responsibility, operating the truck in a safe and professional manner at, at all times, since you're carrying, you know, like belongings. By prioritizing the safety and representing our company with every turn and stop, you contribute to the overall success and reliability of our moving operations. So the automatic or standard drive Basically, driving a standard truck requires manual gear shifting with a clutch or gear shifter, while an automatic truck doesn't require manual shifting. The training for a standard truck is more extensive due to the added complexity of manual shifting, while a commercial driver's license, which is CDL, may not be required for all types of trucks, drivers still need to complete training and pass tests to operate safely. Alright, moving to the fuel tank. So your truck's fuel tank may or may not have a security lock in it. Please note if your truck is diesel or gas, uh, never assume because the truck you drove yesterday was gas that the truck you drive today will be diesel. So that's kind of important. Uh, please make sure to never smoke or be on your cell phone when at a, when at a fuel pump. It's really important. And uh, we basically make sure to ask whether it's a diesel or gas. So to avoid costly mistakes and significant truck downtime, it is crucial to ensure that you are using the correct fuel type for your vehicle. So putting diesel in a gasoline engine or vice versa can lead to expensive repairs and lengthy downtime. To prevent such mishaps, it is important to verify your fuel type either by checking the type at the tank or on the dashboard. Additionally, be sure to pay close attention to the pumps that offer diesel and gasoline and make sure that you do not accidentally use the wrong fuel type. By taking these simple precautions, you can avoid costly mistakes and keep your vehicle running smoothly. So truck damage incidents often occur at gas stations, emphasizing the need for heightened awareness. When maneuvering within these type spaces, it is crucial to remain vigilant of people, other vehicles, the height of the canopy, and the placement of pumps and stop posts. Practicing caution by driving slowly, taking wide turns, and giving priority to other cars and pedestrians is essential. So regardless of being the largest vehicle on the road, safe driving should never be undervalued. By prioritizing safety and being mindful of one's surroundings, potential accidents and damage can be minimized at gas stations. And there's a picture as you can see. Alright, so let's talk about fluid checks. 
regularly checking the fluid levels in your company's trucks is vital for proper vehicle maintenance, monitoring essential fluids such as oil levels, windshield washer fluids, I'm sorry, and diesel exhaust fluid is crucial for ensuring optimal performance and basically, you know, prolonging the lifespan of the trucks. Uh, adequate oil levels help lubricate the engine components and uh, prevent it from excessive wear and tear. So maintaining a sufficient supply of windshield washer fluid ensures clear visibility, especially you know during inclement weather or when encountering dusty or muddy conditions. Additionally, regularly checking and replenishing DEF, uh, which is the diesel exhaust fluid as I mentioned, is important for vehicles equipped with selective catalytic reduction which is the scr systems basically as it helps reduce harmful emissions so taking so by taking the time you know to inspect and maintain these fluids you contribute to the overall care and reliability of your company's trucks minimizing the risk of breakdowns and costly repairs so the diesel exhaust fluid which is also known as AdBlue, our urea solution is a fluid used in modern diesel engines equipped with selective catalytic reduction technology. So the DEF is not directly related to diesel exhaust itself, but it plays a crucial role in reducing harmful emissions from diesel engines. It is important to keep in mind that when your DEF gets too low, your truck will idle down to a crawling speed until the reservoir tank is filled back up to an adequate level. Alright, so the truck battery system. So basically, the truck's batteries are typically situated behind the cab on either the left or the right side. It's crucial to maintain the batteries properly. Running the lift gate without recharging can uh, you know, lead to battery depletion. Typically, trucks have two to three batteries arranged in sequence. So it's important not to jumpstart the truck without approval from the management. All right, so the backup alarm on a box truck is a required safety feature by the Department of Transportation. It emits a loud, distinctive sound whenever the truck shifts into reverse or basically, you know, starts moving backward. The alarm alerts people nearby that the truck is reversing, helping to prevent accidents and ensure pedestrian safety. So the sound is designed to be easily heard over background noise and is distinct from other vehicle sounds. The backup alarm is an important supplement to visual checks and driving precautions when operating a box truck in reverse. The dashboard of your truck provides important indicators and lights to keep you informed. If you ever notice the temperature gauge reaching the orange or red zone, it's crucial to immediately stop the truck and refrain from attempting to restart it until authorized by the management. Additionally, it's essential to avoid running your fuel level below one eighth of a tank as running out of fuel can be difficult to restart the truck and may even lead to damage. So when the fuel light illuminates, it's a clear signal that it's time to refuel. Alright, so the warning lamp guide. The driver's side visor often contains a reference guide for dashboard signals, but if it's not available, you can consult your owner's manual for a list of these signals. So basically, in summary, whenever a dashboard light illuminates, it's important to stop the truck, turn it off, and address the issue before proceeding. Alright, so let's talk about the tires of your truck now. So checking the tread on your box truck tires is essential for safety and performance. You can use a tread depth gauge or the penny test to measure the depth. Adequate tread depth is typically 4 by 32 of an inch or more. So maintaining proper tread ensures traction and prevent, you know, like accidents, especially in adverse conditions. Alright, so this is just a representation of wearing the seat belts correctly as you can see in this picture. Alright, so let's talk about the driver license types. So the licenses come in various types. So there's regular class A, there's regular class B, and then there's regular class C. And then we have the CDL class A, then there's class B for CDL, CDL class C. So each license basically corresponds to specific vehicle categories and its weight limits. 
So it's very important to have the right license to comply with the regulations and drive safely. All right, so weight in space. So most 26 foot box, quote unquote straight trucks typically have a cargo capacity, you know, anywhere from 1400 to 1700 cubic feet. These trucks are usually classified as non CDL and have a maximum weight limit of about 26,000 pounds. Depending on the truck's net weight, so basically the vehicle weight without the cargo versus gross vehicle weight, uh, you can load between 9,000 and 12,000 pounds of cargo. To convert between cubic feet and pounds, you can simply use a multiplier of 7 or divide the weight by 7 to estimate the cargo capacity or weight uh, in either measurement. Alright, so let's talk about street curbs. So when making turns or maneuvering in driveways, it's crucial to drive straight before initiating the turn. This ensures proper alignment and minimizes the risk of putting the truck on curbs, you know, which can cause damage and unnecessary tire wear. Additionally, it's important to use your mirrors wisely to make well-informed turns. Mirrors provide essential visibility and allow you to gauge the distance between your truck and potential obstacles. So by utilizing your mirrors effectively, you can navigate turns smoothly, avoid curbs, and maintain the integrity of your vehicle while preventing tire wear. All right, so avoiding dangerous turns and curves. So when navigating on and off ramps or encountering large turns, it's crucial to take precautions to avoid tipping your truck. So factors such as uneven weight distribution, high speeds, and the height of your truck can make it more susceptible to tipping compared to standard cars, trucks, or even SUVs. To prevent such accidents, it's important to approach these turns with caution, maintain a controlled speed ensuring it's appropriate for the turn and the weight distribution of your cargo, avoid sudden maneuvers that may destabilize the truck, be mindful of the height clearance to avoid collisions with overpasses or structures. By being aware of these factors and driving responsibly, you can ensure the stability and safety of your truck during turns and minimize the risk of tipping. All right, so let's talk about safety pre-inspections. So before starting your inspection, remember to turn on your lights, hazards, and headlights. This ensures visibility and safety during the inspection process. As you may go through the inspection checklist, be attentive to any issues with the following items and promptly report them using your electric inspection report or your company's designated reporting procedures. Check the functionality of all lights, including headlights, tail lights, brake lights, and turn signals. And then inspect the tires for proper inflation, tread depth, and signs of damage or wear. Verify the presence and condition of a fire extinguisher in case of emergencies. Examine the windshield for any dings or cracks that may impair visibility or compromise safety. Check the windshield wipers for proper functioning and ensure an adequate supply of washer fluid. Lastly, always keep your driver's license readily available when operating the vehicle and maintain the necessary company equipment in good condition. This attention to detail promotes safety and compliance with regulations while contributing to a smooth and efficient inspection process. All right, so backing up signs. So before backing up, it's important for all team members to exit the truck, obviously not the driver. One person should monitor the back and top of the truck while another team member watches the front and top of the truck. It's essential to use clear hand signals and make sure the spotters are not distracted or using any devices when guiding the driver during backing up. The best drivers take backing up without a spotter very seriously and they consider any accidents caused by backing up without a spotter to be preventable. It's never recommended to back up without assistance and if it seems too close, it's best to follow the rule of too close and avoid the maneuver altogether. So this is an instructional video to back up your truck safely. You can click on the picture to see more.
All right, so let's talk about avoiding roof damages. Overhead damage is a common yet preventable accident that occurs each year. Many inexperienced or untrained drivers end up causing costly and hazardous damage to the caps and roofs of their trucks. To avoid such incidents, it's crucial to keep the following tips in mind. Familiarize yourself with your truck's height, typically displayed on the box or in the driver's side mirror. This knowledge will help you steer clear of bridges, tunnels, or you know other structures that are too low for your truck. And then the other thing is that respecting no truck signs on the roads. So these signs are in place to protect drivers by avoiding narrow or hazardous areas that may pose risks for trucks. Exercise caution around smaller gas stations, you know, drive through restaurants, ADMs, and homes with low canopies. These features can easily cause roof damage if not approached carefully. When street parking, be mindful of low hanging limbs and branches. Avoid allowing them to rub against the roof and box of your truck, as this can lead to damage. Prioritize parking safety over proximity to residences. By adhering to these tips, you can prevent overhead damages and contribute to road safety for yourself and others. Together, let's make our roads safer for everyone by exercising caution and being responsible. All right, so now let's talk about using signals and land horns. So the horn should only be used to grab the attention of other drivers, you know, like in situations where safety is at stake. Uh, it should never, you know, like be used to alert someone who's distracted at a traffic light. It's important to, you know, like allow them to realize their mistake, such as being on their phone, you know, like while waiting at the light. And additionally, it's crucial to always use the appropriate turn signal before making any kind of turns. So signaling your intentions helps you know like ensure the safety of yourself and others on the road uh you know like by providing clear communication of your intended maneuvers all right so let's talk about the three d's <laughs> i just made that up so don't drive dial and die do you know the cell phone use while driving a track is one of the leading causes of truck driver fatalities in the usa so to prevent this, it's important to follow some certain guidelines. All right, so first things first, all calls should only be accepted or dialed using a Bluetooth device, you know, with voice dialing and answering features. So basically what it, what it ensures is that you can keep your hands on the wheel and eyes on the road at all times. And secondly, texting while driving, you know, like that should never be done. It's a major distraction and, you know, like can lead to serious accidents. If you need to reply to a text, please pull over safely to the side of the road and you can do so. And lastly, if you want to make a phone call or maybe like update your GPS directions, it's always best to pull over and do it safely. So basically this will prevent any accidents that could occur, you know, like if you were to try and do these tasks while driving and uh, by making sure you are you know like following these guidelines you'll be doing your part to ensure you know the safety of yourself and others on the road all right so let's all work together to make our road safer for everyone time for reminders so i just want to share some quick driving tips to remember so make sure to check your blind spots please be mindful of long stopping distances Please execute wide turns with caution. Always, always buckle up. Drive at a safe speed. Please stay focused and avoid distractions. Use your signals consistently. And lastly, regularly maintain your vehicle. All right, so we've all been in a similar situation like this. You know, drowsy driving is a serious safety concern that can lead to accidents and potential harm. It's important to, you know, like recognize the signs of drowsiness while driving, you know, just to make sure to prevent it. Some common indicators include heavy eyelids, frequent yawning, difficulty in focusing, drifting between lanes and missing road signs, and overall feeling, you know, like restless. Just to prevent it, it's important to prioritize sufficient sleep, you know, before getting behind the wheel. And if you find yourself feeling drowsy while driving, it's recommended to you know just pull over in a safe location and take a short nap 
or switch drivers if possible. Uh, additionally, maybe you know, like taking a cup of coffee can keep you temporarily awake. But uh, planning regular breaks during long journeys and avoiding driving during your usual sleep hours are other effective strategies to stay awake and you know maintain road safety. Please remember, being well rested and attentive significantly reduces the risks associated with drowsing. All right, so how skipping 101? So maintaining a clean and organized box and cab in your truck is, you know, pretty essential for safe driving. Loose items such as bottles or debris can become hazardous if they find their way under the gas or the brake pedal. So by ensuring that the interior of your truck is free from, you know, like all this clutter reduces the risk of these objects, you know, like with interfering with your ability to operate the truck safely. So please make sure to make it a habit to regularly clean out the truck, removing any kind of loose items or debris that could potentially shift and cause, you know, like a distraction. So by keeping your truck's box and cab tidy, uh, you can basically enhance your driving experience and minimize any chances of encountering dangerous situations on the road. All right, so we talked about cell phone while driving before, but let's talk a little bit more about the distracted driving now. Uh, it definitely poses a significant threat to the road safety because it, you know, like diverts the driver's attention from the primary task, which is operating the vehicle. So while using phones and adjusting the radio are, you know, like common distractions, it's crucial to, you know, like recognize the dangers they pose and basically adopt measures to stay safe on the road. So just to combat this, it's essential to prioritize focused attention while driving. So basically eyes on the road. This means any activities that may, you know, like take your eyes off the road, hands off the steering wheel, or basically mind away from the driving. A few practical steps to stay safe would include, you know, like keeping your mobile devices out of reach, or maybe like in a silent mode to resist the temptation to use them, you know, like while driving. Uh, I would recommend that setting the destination on your navigation system before you start your journey can prevent the time for, you know, like manual adjustments while you're driving. Additionally, it's advisable to, you know, like adjust your mirrors, climate controls and sound systems before setting off to, you know, like minimize the need for adjustments while driving. So basically by adopting like a mindful approach, we can mitigate the risks of distracted driving and contribute to a safer road environment for everyone. All right, so just a speeding reminder and some key driving tips to remember. So please make sure to check your blind spots, be mindful of long stopping distances, execute, you know, wide turns with caution, always, always buckle up, drive at a safe speed, stay focused on the road and avoid any kind of distractions, use your signals consistently, and maintain your vehicle regularly. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about maintenance and issue reporting. It's crucial to promptly report any maintenance issues that may come up, you know, such as burned out bulbs, low wash fluid, or any other kind of problems, really. These issues can compromise the safety and functionality of the vehicle. So by reporting them immediately to your supervisor, appropriate actions can be taken to address and resolve the problems. Timely reporting definitely helps ensure that necessary repairs or replacements are carried out, you know, minimizing the risk of accidents or even further damage. Your vigilance and proactive approach in reporting these maintenance issues contribute to maintaining a safe and well-maintained, you know, fleet of vehicles. So let's talk about reporting truck issues and what are some examples of minor and major ones. So minor could include, you know, like running light out, maybe like a scratch or thing, maybe like it's a chunk out of tire. And the major ones could include like it's headlights out, brake issues, maybe it's a cracked or bad tire, it's a broken windshield wiper, or maybe like missing fire extinguisher. So in order to ensure the smooth operation of our fleet, it's vital that any truck issues are reported to your supervisor via text message, like as soon as possible. And for minor problems, we strive to complete repairs within three shifts. Keeping the truck in good working order, basically. 
However, if a major issue arises, it's imperative that the truck remains inoperable until the necessary repairs have been made. Additionally, your supervisor will conduct routine checks before each shift to proactively identify any emerging issues, allowing for prompt resolutions and minimizing potential disruptions or downtime. So by actively reporting problems and conducting regular checks, you know, we can maintain a reliable and efficient fleet, delivering exceptional services to our valued customers. So mirrors and backup cameras. In order to ensure clear visibility and promoting, you know, safe driving practices, properly adjusted mirrors can play a crucial role on the road. While camera systems can provide additional assistance, Mirrors should always be the final source for confirming, like a clear bat. So it's important to keep in mind that each mirror has its own blind spot, uh, necessitating caution. So when changing lanes, signaling it in advance for at least 8 to 12 seconds and making a gradual turn into the new lane is highly recommended just to give the other driver a little bit of space. To prioritize safe and courteous driving, it's crucial to avoid hogging the road. So by understanding the importance of well-adjusted mirrors, acknowledging blind spots, and practicing concentrated driving habits, we contribute at a safer driving environment for everyone. Alright, so let's talk about a little bit more on blind spots. So these are areas around a vehicle where the driver's visibility is limited or, you know, like completely obstructed. Box trucks, you know, due to their size and design, have larger blind spots compared to smaller vehicles. The most common blind spot in a box truck are located on either side of the vehicle, directly behind the cab, and at the rear corners. So to avoid blind spots while driving a box truck, it's essential to adjust your side mirrors correctly to provide you know like maximum visibility. Also, be sure to check your mirrors frequently and use your turn signals when changing lanes or making any kind of turns. Before merging into another lane, make sure you can see the entire front of the vehicle in your rear view mirror before you make a move. And lastly, always be aware of your surroundings and the vehicles around you. And if possible, try to avoid driving in other drivers' blind spots to reduce the risk of accidents. Okay, so let's talk about stop lights and stop signs. As the traffic light turns yellow, it's crucial to start decelerating and getting ready to stop. Some drivers make the mistake of accelerating to, you know, try it and make it through the intersection before the light turns yet red. But this can be hazardous and lead to accidents. Instead, you should always approach crosswalks or intersections with caution and reduce your speed to ensure you can come to a safe stop if necessary. This is especially important when driving in areas with heavy pedestrian traffic. Remember that pedestrians always have the right of way at crosswalks, so it's vital to be extra cautious and aware of your surroundings. Yield to pedestrians and always ensure they have crossed safely before you proceed. So by slowing down and being, you know, like vigilant at intersections and crosswalks, you'll be playing your role in promoting safety for yourself and others on the road. So let's all work together to make our roads safer for everybody. Manners while driving. So having a good driving manners is quite essential for a safe and harmonious road environment. Here are some key points to remember. So yield to pedestrians and please let them cross the road. Slow down and give space to cyclists and e-scooters. Provide ample space and use signals when a vehicle is merging. You can also flash your daylights to say thank you when you know someone gives you space. Avoid honking out of anger or and take a moment to breathe and count to three. So by practicing these behaviors, we can create a better driving experience for everyone on the road. Drive safely. Do you know your signs? So as a driver, it's of utmost importance to have a comprehensive understanding of the various traffic signs encountered on the road. You know, ranging from school crossings to yield signs, curves, and many more. These signs serve as vital communication tools, you know, providing crucial information to ensure road safety for both drivers and pedestrians. 
Knowledge of these signs enables drivers to anticipate and respond appropriately to different road conditions, like potential hazards and like regulatory requirements. So understanding the meaning and significance of each sign allows drivers to make informed decisions, adjust their driving behavior, and take necessary precautions. By familiarizing themselves with traffic signs, drivers can, you know, like actively contribute to creating a safer road environment, minimizing accidents, and, you know, promoting the overall well-being of everybody on the road. So, investing time and effort into learning and recognizing the diverse range of traffic signs is an essential responsibility for every driver. Alright, so let's talk about pedestrians and crosswalks. Uh, ensuring the safety of pedestrians should be definitely like a top priority for all drivers. It's crucial to understand that the pedestrians have a right of way and yielding to them is not just a legal requirement, but also a moral responsibility. It's important to be vigilant and alert at all times, especially, you know, at crosswalks where pedestrians have designated areas to cross the road safely. Additionally, drivers should be mindful of people jaywalking and be prepared to stop for them. This, you know, includes being aware of foot traffic, such as pedestrians and cyclists, and giving them ample space and time to navigate the road safely. By demonstrating respect and attentiveness towards pedestrians and other foot traffic, drivers can play a significant role in promoting a culture of road safety and minimizing the risk of accidents or injuries involving, you know, like vulnerable road users. All right, so let's talk about avoiding parking tickets. So to ensure responsible parking practices, it's crucial to, you know, like be mindful of your surroundings and adhere to local traffic laws. This involves being aware of where you park and making sure it doesn't block other vehicles or, you know, obstruct through ways. By parking considerately, you contribute to the smooth flow of traffic and prevent unnecessary inconvenience to others. So situations, you know, like in situations where parking spaces may be poorly marked or crowded, setting up lots of cones can be a helpful strategy. These cones can serve as visual markers. Uh, clearly indicating your desi designated parking area and providing added visibility to other drivers. And additionally, I mean, it's important to acquire parking passes from the appropriate authorities or management when required. Parking passes are necessary to ensure that you have the proper authorization to park in designated areas. By obtaining the necessary permits, you contribute to maintaining order and organization within the parking facility. By being mindful of where you park, following local traffic laws, avoiding obstruction, you know, utilizing cones for enhanced visibility when needed, and obtaining parking passes when required, you actively participate in creating a safer and more efficient parking environment for everyone involved. Okay, so moving to the tolls and fast pass lanes. Before driving in toll lanes such as, you know, express pass lanes, it's essential to ensure that you are authorized by your company to use them and have the necessary means to pay your tolls. This includes having the proper transponders or cash readily available. It's also crucial to comply with the rules and regulations set by your company, you know, to avoid any kind of unauthorized usage. If your company has provided you with a transponder, make sure it's properly installed and functioning. You can familiarize yourself with how to use it correctly and ensure that it has you know, sufficient funds or balance to cover your toll charges. If cash is the only accepted payment method, be sure to have the appropriate amount available, you know, preferably in smaller denominations for convenience. It's also important to note that tolls paid by mail are usually higher than the regular rates. Therefore, it's advisable to have the necessary means of payment on hand to avoid any kind of additional charges or complications. By being prepared and authorized to use toll lanes, you can ensure a smooth and efficient travel experience while complying with the toll road requirements sent by your company. Okay, so let's talk about signals now. It's crucial to always come to a complete stop at a stop sign. Rolling through a stop sign is, you know, like never ever acceptable. Similarly, you know, when operating the best movers equipment, it's important to treat a yellow light as a red light. 
never ever run through a light when it's yellow. Driving your truck under the speed limit definitely helps reduce the chances of running lights and signs, which can lead to hard braking. Please be aware that hard brakes are tracked by the GPS. Let's prioritize safety on the road by following these guidelines. Alright, so let's talk about time safety. As a driver, it's crucial to prioritize safe driving and punctuality. It's not acceptable you know, to drive faster or more aggressively in an attempt to make up for lost time. Instead, the focus should be on driving safely and efficiently from the shop to the customer's location while adhering to the posted speed limit. Timeliness is a key component of our company's identity and the level of service that our customers expect. Well, that only matters if you make it there safely. Okay, so let's talk about reading your gauges and regenerations. So it's crucial to understand the meaning of your truck's gauges. The water temperature, oil, or voltage gauge should remain steady and if any of the gauges turn on, please pull over safely, park, and turn off the truck immediately. This should be done before, you know, making any kind of calls for troubleshooting or any other extra steps, basically. A regeneration or regen occurs occasionally when dirt and engine exhaust particles accumulate in the exhaust system and need to be cleared. So the instructions for performing a regen are available on the driver's side sun visor and in the video on the slide. Normally you should pull down the visor and find the regeneration instructions for the particularly box truck your company employs. Alright, so this is just a heads up. It's essential to avoid driving off the road or too close to the edge of a driveway. When backing into a driveway, be mindful of not damaging neighbors or community lawns. Taking a little more time and making a 10-point turn without causing any damage is far better than a shorter 3-point turn that can lead to hours of repair work. Driving onto lawns not only creates ruts, but can also damage water and gas lines. Even with the customer's permission, it's important to never ever drive off the roadway. So let's prioritize safety and protect our neighborhoods and infrastructure by driving responsibly and respecting our surroundings. Everybody loves music, but let's just talk a little bit more about it. So distracted driving poses a significant risk to our safety on the road, and it's crucial that we remain vigilant and focused behind the wheel. So avoiding distractions is essential, which includes refraining from you know, listening to music at excessively loud volumes, reaching for your lunch pail, maybe glancing down at your GPS, or engaging in any kind of activities that divert your attention from driving. So by staying fully attentive and you know like eliminating distractions, we can prioritize the safety of ourselves, our passengers, and other road users. So let's commit to responsible driving and keep our focus on the task at hand, ensuring a safer journey for everyone. Moving to the high beam and low beam headlights. Using your vehicle's high beams and low beams properly is crucial for safe driving at night. So here are some couple tips. High beams, or also known as main beams, provide maximum visibility and should be used in areas with no incoming traffic or vehicles ahead. When using high beams, please be considerate and switch to low beams when you see an incoming vehicle or you know when you're approaching a vehicle from behind. Low beams, or you can also say like dip beams, are designed to provide adequate visibility without blinding other drivers. Always use low beams in urban areas, well-lit roads, and when driving behind another vehicle. Please make sure to adjust your headlights properly to avoid dazzling other drivers and maintain optimal visibility. By using your high beams and low beams properly, you can enhance your safety on the road while also being considerate of other drivers. Please drive responsibly. Alright, so let's talk more about keeping your box truck organized. So, maintaining a clean truck is not only a reflection of our company's professionalism, but it also demonstrates our pride and care in the service we provide. By keeping your truck clean, I mean we not only create a visually appealing image, but also 
eliminate potential tripping hazards and promote a safe working environment for everybody. Please always make sure to have a trash bag in the truck and promptly dispose of any garbage. Let's prioritize cleanliness to uphold our commitment to excellence and ensure a safe and enjoyable experience for all. Alright, so a couple tips on using the GPS and finding your customer's home. It's quite essential to follow these steps before using any kind of GPS, whether it's your truck's GPS unit or maybe your personal phone GPS. Please ensure that the address you entered in the GPS matches the address on your work order. If you encounter heavy traffic and or need to take, you know, like an alternate route, inform your operations coordinator of your new route. Please remember to send a polite text message to the customer. Keep the GPS in a holder and not in your lap. Okay, so let's talk about something important, safety equipment. So your truck is equipped with all the necessary safety equipment, you know, such as a fire extinguisher that's located right under the driver's seat. It's required by law and should always be in place and checked regularly to ensure it's in good working condition. Please make sure your fire extinguisher is full and green. In case of a breakdown, you have road triangles and traffic cones to be used for parking and to signal other drivers of your presence. Additionally, there's a first aid kit stored right under your seat. Please remember to always fill out an incident report when using the first aid kit. Alright, so what are the breaking down procedures? Ensuring your safety and the safety of other drivers is paramount in case if your truck breaks down. In such a situation, it's crucial to take immediate action. First things first, turn on your hazard lights to alert other motorists of your presence and potential hazard. Next, carefully maneuver your vehicle to the side of the road, maintaining a distance of at least 18 inches between your truck and the edge of the ditch. This allows ample space for passing traffic and minimizing the, you know, like the risk of accidents. Finally, deploy traffic triangles behind your vehicle to provide additional warning to approaching drivers. By following all these steps, you prioritize safety and help prevent potential accidents while awaiting assistance. All right, so this one's really important, driving in foggy conditions. So driving a box truck in foggy conditions can be a real challenge and hazardous as well. To ensure the safety and the safety of others on the road, it's crucial to follow these tips. So the first thing would be to minimize the distractions, you know, by putting your phone away or maybe like eating while driving. And please keep your focus on the road all the time. Second would be, you know, to reduce your speed to allow for more reaction time and maintain a safe distance from the vehicle in front. If your windows are fogged up, roll down your windows slightly to let fresh air circulate. And then use roadside reflectors as a guide to stay in your lane and avoid swerving. Turning off the cruise control to enable quick reactions to changing road conditions. And then ensuring your windshield wipers and defrosters are working correctly to keep your windshield clear. Please use low beams and fog lights to improve visibility, avoiding high beams that can reflect off the fog. And if the fog is thick, use the right edge of the road as a guide, driving cautiously to prevent veering off. By following these tips, you can safely navigate foggy conditions while driving a box truck. Always prioritize safety and avoid unnecessary risks. Alright, so aggressive driving. You should always understand that driving a truck requires maturity, self-control, you know, especially when dealing with aggressive drivers who speed, tailgate and make sudden turns without any signaling. To maintain safety on the road, it's important to keep a distance of at least 3 to 5 truck lengths in inclement weather. Remain calm and professional. Avoid the use of hand gestures or displays of frustration. Please always signal for at least 10 seconds before making a turn and opt for missing a turn, you know, rather than risking a dangerous maneuver. Never engage in aggressive behavior and only use your horn for safety purposes. 
please remember you never know what someone else is going through so don't contribute to their stress or anger okay so some helpful tips on parking lots at apartments and stores when parking your box truck it's quite important to follow these guidelines in order to ensure safety and prevent accidents choose the back of the parking lot when visiting stores to you know like allow easier maneuvering and more space for your box truck and whenever possible use a spotter to assist you you know when pulling into or out of a parking spot their extra set of eyes can definitely help you navigate safely always be vigilant and avoid damaging or backing into other cars take a time and use your mirrors effectively to maintain awareness of your surroundings always exercise extreme caution while parking especially in crowded areas keep an eye out for pedestrians other vehicles and obstacles so by adhering to these practices you can basically minimize the risk of accidents protect yourself and ensure the safety of others all right so safe parking okay so let's talk about safe turns now when driving your box truck it's crucial to navigate turns carefully you know to prevent accidents and avoid any kind of damage here are some key points that you can remember take wide turns to accommodate the size of your box truck and avoid hitting curbs or you know like any other kind of obstacles approach turns around curbs and signs with caution you know giving yourself ample space to maneuver safely and maintaining a slow and controlled speed while turning keeping a vigilant eye on the back of your truck just to make sure it clears any obstacles stay alert and focused paying close attention to your surroundings to avoid damaging your truck or surroundings basically you know properties anything like that by practicing these driving techniques you can help protect your truck and prevent any potential damage to both your vehicle and the surrounding environment drive safely and responsibly all right so let's talk about driving with ice and snow so when operating your box truck in snowy and icy conditions always make sure to prioritize safety by following these tips always drive slowly below the speed limit to maintain control and avoid sudden lane changes and always make sure to stay in your lane please make sure to clear all the snow and ice from your truck for better visibility and watch out for black ice you know especially on bridges and shaded areas accelerate and brake slowly to prevent skidding and be cautious of slip and fall hazards and wear appropriate footwear keep your floorboards clean for unobstructed driving so by following all these practices and keeping the tips in mind you can safely operate your box truck in snowy and icy conditions stay safe on the road okay so let's talk about driving in the rain so watch your speed stay within the speed limit and adjust your speed according to you know weather and road conditions and avoid any kind of unnecessary lane changes you know to minimize the risk of accidents make sure you that you clear your windows of any kind of ice or you know fog before driving to ensure good visibility and keep a safe following distance so i would say maintain at least 3 truck lengths of space between your vehicle and the one in front of you to avoid any kind of collisions take ramps slowly slow down and you know like follow posted speed limits always have rain gear on hand and be ready to slow down in wet conditions and uh, don't be afraid to ask for help so you have helpers to spot for you when backing up or navigating tight spaces watch out for mud so be mindful of muddy conditions and adjust your driving accordingly to avoid getting stuck all right so let's talk about something important marijuana drugs and driving So operating a vehicle, you know, while under the influence of marijuana, pills or any other drugs is highly hazardous and strictly prohibited. Just like alcohol, marijuana impairs cognitive abilities, coordination, and reaction times, making it unsafe to drive. It's crucial to maintain a drug-free environment and ensure that no drugs, which also includes marijuana, are present at the workplace. are in the vehicle 
even the temptation to consume marijuana on your way back to the shop at the end of the day should be completely avoided. By adhering to a zero tolerance policy and prioritizing safety, we can protect ourselves, our colleagues, and the public from the risks associated with impaired driving. D&D Drinking and driving. Sorry, I just made that up. So don't drink and drive. Driving under the influence of alcohol is not only illegal, but also extremely dangerous. Why is that? Well, it impairs your judgment, slows down your reaction time, and increases the risk of accidents. It's crucial to prioritize safety by never consuming alcohol while operating a vehicle, especially when it comes to commercial trucks. It's imperative to maintain a strict policy of not having alcohol present in the cab of your truck. Even the temptation to, you know, grab a beer on your way back to the shop at the end of the day should be completely avoided. By making responsible choices and staying alcohol free behind the wheel, we can ensure the safety of ourselves, our fellow drivers and the public at large. Okay, so let's talk about tools and truck equipment now. Well, as part of our standard procedure, it's your responsibility to verify the presence and the condition of all the items listed when you receive your truck at the beginning of each day. This essential check ensures that you have all the necessary equipment, you know, before you commence your daily tasks. We highly recommend investing just two minutes to thoroughly inspect and, you know, confirm that all the items on the checklist are still in your possession. This brief yet crucial examination can definitely help you save time and prevent any potential complications that may arise later in the day. So you can reference this checklist for future as well. And yeah, it's quick and easy. All right, so let's talk about cones and parking. Well, during the move, we suggest having a conversation with the customer about parking to avoid any kind of disruptions. It's crucial to ensure that the truck is parked in a manner that doesn't block any entrances or driveways. To facilitate the unloading process, your truck comes equipped with four collapsible street cones that you know should be placed approximately 15 to 20 feet behind the vehicle, allowing ample space for your team to work safely while handling the items being moved. Additionally, please make sure to comply with all the parking rules and regulations while you're on the job to avoid any potential parking violations. Alright drivers, so it's essential to note here that the majority of our trucks are equipped with a lift gate and walk ramp combination to ensure efficient moving processes. In order to promote an efficient workflow, we strongly recommend utilizing the walk ramp as the primary loading and unloading method. It's of utmost importance to ensure that the walk ramp is fully extended and securely locked in place. So basically in situations involving inclement weather, you gotta exercise caution when using the walk ramp and consider utilizing the lift gates as a large stair for enhanced safety measures. Reserve the use of the lift gate for handling bulky and weighty items, you know, such as large appliances, to prevent any kind of potential damage or accidents. Please be mindful of leaving the lift gate on as it can drain the truck's battery. Always remember to operate lift gate with the truck's engine running and exercise caution to prevent any injuries to your fingers and toes. Your safety is our priority, so remain vigilant and watch out for potential hazards when using the lift gate. Thank you for your attention and commitment to maintaining a safe working environment. As they say, with great power comes great responsibility. So as a driver of a box truck, you carry great responsibility. The lives of those around you are in your hands and it's up to you to ensure their safety. Your ability to stay calm and drive safely is essential to well-being of everybody on the road. It's important to remember that you are the only one in control of the vehicle and you must remain vigilant at all times. Aggressive driving and ignoring posted speed limit signs and safety indicators can have disastrous consequences. As a driver, you must always prioritize safety over everything else. So by being a responsible driver, we are not only protecting the lives of others, but also setting an example for others to follow. 
Remember, driving is a privilege, and with that privilege comes the responsibility to keep yourself and others safe on the road. So with that being said, I just want to share some quick safety tips with you. Always yield the right way of to others on the road. Adhere to the posted speed limit and avoid driving above it. Make sure you use your blinkers in advance and allow plenty of time for other drivers to react. Avoid tailgating as it can lead to accidents and endanger other drivers. Please keep your emotions in check and practice deep breathing to maintain a calm demeanor while driving, even in challenging situations. Okay, so some reminders and tips to avoid the roof damages. Before you even hit the road, please make sure you know the height of your box truck, including the height of any load you may be carrying. This will definitely help you plan your route and avoid low clearances or overpasses that could cause damage. Always pay close attention to overhead signs, bridges, and other structures when driving. If you're uncertain about whether you can clear a particular obstacle, it's better to err on the side of caution and find an alternate route. If you need to navigate a tight space or maneuver in an area with low clearance, consider using a spotter. A spotter can definitely help you avoid obstacles and guide you through tricky situations safely. So when driving a box truck, it's essential to remain focused on the road ahead. Avoid using your phone or other distractions that could cause you to miss important overhead warnings or obstacles. And driving too fast, you know, can increase the risk of accidents and damage to your own box truck. Always follow posted speed limits, especially in areas with low clearance. So by following all these tips, you can help minimize the risk of overhead damage to your box truck to keep yourself and other drivers safe on the road. Okay, so let's talk about driver logs and ELDs. So commercial drivers were obligated to maintain records of duty status are mandated by the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration, also known as FMCSA, to utilize electronic logging devices, also known as ELDs. So these ELDs are electronic gadgets that are connected to the engine of a commercial vehicle automatically documenting the driver's hours of service. So they basically serve as a replacement for traditional paper logs, which are susceptible to errors and tempering. By employing ELDs, a more precise and dependable method is established to monitor a driver's hours of service, facilitating easier compliance monitoring with federal regulations for both drivers and law enforcement agencies. It's of utmost importance to adhere to the Department of Transportation and FMCSA requirements for ELDs and driver logs, you know, particularly for deliveries exceeding to a distance of 150 air miles in order to avoid potential fines and penalties. Commercial drivers can undergo training with the best interstate trainer to ensure they're fully compliant with all applicable federal regulations. All right, so the driver file and the DOT card. In order to ensure compliance with Department of Transportation regulations, we kindly request a copy of your DOT physical card to be included in your driver file. If you have prior experience as a driver, you should already possess a DOT card. Please provide us with a copy of your DOT exam as mandated by the Department of Transportation, which will be you know, securely stored in our records. Furthermore, it's crucial for you to carry a copy of your DOT card while operating any vehicle weighing over 10,000 pounds. This is important in case of a traffic stop as it serves as proof of your compliance with DOT regulations. Carrying a copy of your DOT card will definitely help ensure a smooth interaction with law enforcement and maintain adherence to the necessary requirements. Okay, so some tips to secure your load. Well, securing a load in a box truck is of utmost importance when you're on the road or parked in a stationary in transit, also known as set location. Taking the necessary precautions can significantly enhance the safety and integrity of your cargo. Here are a few crucial instructions to follow. Always use an armored lock. 
park against a solid structure. Choose well lit areas. Make sure to lock all doors, including the cab. Conceal electronics and use a disk lock. Following these instructions ensures load security in a box truck during road travel or when parked in a set location. Always keep your truck locked when not in use. Congratulations! You have now completed the best driver trainer. You will now complete your written test before going on to your road test with your supervisor. Please click on the link on the screen or you can also click the link that's in the description. Thank you for your time and patience. Safe driving.